C. Lindelof, a quick video on implicit differentiation using your TI Inspire CAS calculator. I'm going to just go through how to do this really quickly. If you ever want like some really in-depth description of why and how and 15 different ways, there's another person who does really good videos on TI Inspire, and I think he goes under the channel Covenant Bird. But this is not intended to be that. This is just supposed to be kind of quick way to do this on the exam. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my calculator. I'm going to skip over to calculator. So I'm at calculator. Two ways, more than two ways, but here's a, a couple quick ways to get to implicit differentiation. One, if you can't remember how to type it in, go to your menu, go to calculus. Remember, calculus, there's, at the very bottom you see the arrow. You have to scroll down a little bit to get to implicit differentiation. So you can do it that way. That's one way to get there. The other way is to actually type that in. So it would be I... M P differentiation and the way that I know this is working if you look at this now this is in italics now when your calculator recognizes something as a function something that it can do it will turn it into standard print so there it is implicit differentiation so you open that up with a set of parentheses and then I'm just gonna type in the first equation that I have the first equation that I have is 16 y squared is equal to 400 minus 25x squared, so 400 minus 25x squared. And where did I get that? It's just some an equation that I found that can be differentiated implicitly. Here, this is really important because usually when you're using a solve function, you just put comma x. But if you remember, in implicit differentiation, we're saying that the derivative, the slope, is contingent on the x value and the y value, so you put x comma y so make sure that you're doing that hit enter and there is that derivative all right there is that y prime value okay let's just do another one same way just do two or three of them together i m p implicit diff dif open parentheses some maybe easier equation would be 16y squared is equal to x squared plus 16. I get that you should be able to do this by hand. This is not super difficult to differentiate. But if they're letting you use a calculator, you might as well. So remember, it's comma x comma y. You don't really have to close the parentheses. And there's your answer. <clears throat> So hopefully that's gonna that's helpful. Let's try another one. Let's try just one more. Let's try one that's really, really easy so we know we're getting the right answer. And we'll just do implicit differentiation. This time I'm gonna do it by going through my menu. So menu, calculus, scroll down, hit implicit differentiation. And I'm gonna do a circle. Let's do x squared plus, I don't know, y squared is equal to 64. Is equal to 64. So if I wanna, differentiate that implicitly, I'll put comma x in terms of x and y, right? x and y. Hit enter, and there is that implicit um, derivative. All right, look, I hope this is really helpful. I'm going to do another video in just a second on implicit differentiation at a point, but I didn't want to drag you on too long. This is one of those things that you should go to your calculus book where you have a bunch of answers for implicit differentiation and work through the models to make sure you're getting the right answer back over and over and over again. By the time you sit for this exam, you will have seen this thing so many times that you're going to be great at it. So, look, I hope this was helpful. Your comments are always welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.